Hello everyone, I'm Al and today I'm going to show you how to build your own robot and unlock the third tier of technology. Now, it's actually easy, but it does take quite a long time. You have to do an awful lot of mining and an awful lot of hunting to do it. But, let's get into it and I'll show you what you need. Now, if you go to your metal workstation, the main thing we want is a robotics crafting table. This table is arms for precision. Now, it replaces the wooden crafting table, but to get that, you are going to have to build yourself a robot. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see the robotic parts, arms and legs. Now, you can see it's mostly pixels and an awful lot of steel, and to get steel, you need to mix coal and iron. That'll give you steel. You can get that quite easily enough by mixing the two. Then, if you look at the robot head, you need an artificial brain, which is actually the hardest thing to get. It's going to take you quite a bit of time. It took me a few hours of hunting to get what I needed. Now, you need to build yourself a brain extractor. It says, terminating common monster of this gun will extract a brain. Now, unfortunately, the majority of the time, you're going to get useless brains. You're not going to get what you need. You need a superior brain. And you're going to use that to make an artificial brain. As you can see there, an enhanced brain perfect for transplanting. That's by mixing steel, pixels, and a superior brain, but the chance of getting one is quite low. Now what you want to do is weaken the monsters, hit them a few times, get them low on health, and then use the brain extractor gun on them. You usually only get about three shots before it has to recharge, so count them. They're pretty short range and they're pretty weak. But, if you open my inventory, you can see inferior brains. It's always brain cells. That's the thing you're gonna get the majority of the time. But when you're lucky, you're going to get a superior brain. Now, I was lucky enough to get two of my last two kills, which means I have a spare for my robot. As you can see, I have my robot head, chest, arms, and legs. Now, you need all of these, plus that superior brain, to make the artificial brain to make the head. After you have them, you're going to go back to your metal workstation, scroll down, and then you're going to have an inactive robot. As you can see, it needs all of those, plus 50 pixels and 5 seal bars, just enough to kind of put it together. Now if we look at it, it's an inactive robot, I wonder what happens if it's switched on. And uh, I can kind of guess what's going to happen, but let's craft it. And we can see I have my lovely robot in my inventory. Now let's beam down and go turn it on and see what happens, shall we? Okay, so we're here on the planet surface, you can see I've got my broadsword, I've got my assault rifle. So, let's plant this robot into the ground and turn the burger on. Quite big, look at that big old brain on him, the one I made. Okay, okay, let's turn him on. And things go bad pretty quickly. Whoa, he's actually surprisingly strong. Ah, ah, uh oh. And we want to avoid the extra monsters. Uh oh, this could be very bad. Okay, we've got the robot and we've got him trapped. Now let's get our bandages so we can get healed. Actually, quickly, I'm going to put some ground here so I don't fall in. And now, let's shoot the hell out of him, shall we? Now he's surprisingly strong, actually more than surprising, he's extremely strong. So you want to keep some distance. The best thing to do is kind of trap him so that your fire doesn't hit him. You can do that on the surface as well. I kind of dug a big shaft with some water down below, but um, I kind of missed my first drop and hit the ground. So, just keep wearing at him. Now my broadsword actually does 41 damage a hit, which is quite a lot. So if you don't have that, the best thing to do is to you know, block him in and then kill him. Okay, and there we have a processor. Now this is the main thing we want. It's going to take you a couple of hours to actually get that robot. And it's mostly just because of the brain. Getting the ore and the steel is surprisingly easy. It's just that brain which takes ages and ages. But let's beam out of here and go do the next bit. Okay, so, we have our processor. Now, 
we want to make that robotic table. To have that, we need that processor, a wooden crafting bench. We'll pick that up, go to the metal workstation, and here we go, robotics crafting table. Let's make that, shall we? Perfect. Now we have that, we'll place it down just where the table was, and here we have star map upgrade 3, which allows us to go to the gamma sector. So not only have we unlocked a brand new set of technology, we also have a new crafting bench and we can go to the next sector. And as you can see, it's actually really easy to get. 750 pixels, five steel bars. Let's make that. And to use it, of course, you just equipped it. We're gonna replace our brain extractor gun. And there we go. The star map has been updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation systems. And we can now select the gamma sector from the navigation bar. Let's go do that, shall we? Don't forget, always make sure you have more than enough fuel. I do. Click random. There's the gamma symbol. We'll go here if we can. Perfect. We'll go for the forest level. And here we go. Spooling up the FEL drive and away we go again. All right, folks, and we've just arrived in the Gamma Sector, and we're taking over of our brand new planet. Let's go beam down and see what it's like, shall we? Now, we've got the main ice little moon there, but we're going to the planetoid below that's got a forest biome. So let's go have a look. And here we go, we've just arrived in the Gamma Sector, and we have brand new technology, and you now know how to build your own robot. Now, I'm Al. Hope you got something decent out of that and you learned something new. Don't forget, it is going to take you quite some time to get that superior brain. And you can only use that gun on monsters. I've tried it on other sentient beings like Florin, Avians and humans and it doesn't work. You don't get a single thing from it. So remember, monsters only. Hit them once or twice, get down their health, extract their brain. And once you've got the robot built, make sure you have some place to trap him. I should have probably made my shaft a bit wider so I could have lured him down a lot easier. But it did work out in the end at least. And here we are. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for brand new how-to tutorials and videos in the game. And do comment if you have something to say. It can be good or bad. I don't mind, I will respond to as many comments as I personally can. Thanks for watching and bye bye.